All right, uh, short, sweet, and to the point. Uh, the the solution to my problem here that I'll get into here in a minute was the wiring was rubbing on the uh, oil filter housing, and I believe it was grounding out, probably grounding out the charge wire. Uh, so let's back up. And the the problem I had with this thing I've had for a while. I had two issues with it. I'm gonna make two different videos on it, but one of them was my alternator light was flashing or would come on and off mostly on cold days for whatever reason i never really did figure out the correlation between the two but the charge light would come on basically until the car warmed up you know 15 20 minutes of driving and then it'd go out and be fine the rest of the day and then also my lights would flicker when anytime the light was on the, the lights would flicker and my first started trying to diagnose it I just started wiggling wires, and I was in my shop, had the headlights on the wall, and I could see them flickering. And I could pull up on this, which is the transmission controller, and it would make them stay on solid. So I, th I thought I had a bad connection right there. And uh, I ended up screwing around, and I took this whole connector apart, and it basically blew up in my hands. I spent about two hours trying to get that thing back together because it's like a 48-pin connector. And anyways, I got it back together and put it back on and it fixed my problem for like a year. Like it was still cold out and it quit doing it. So I thought, I figured, well, it's a bad connection in here. And I thought I would change the transmission controller if it ever acted up again. And then maybe the combination of changing the pins would correct it. And in addition, I've also got an issue with the transmission was cycling the converter like at steady throttle like about 35 mile an hour the converter would cycle or uh i believe it's uh there's another word for it i'll have to think of it here in a second shuttling but it would cycle just in and out in and out in and out in and out you give it gas it'd, it'd lock or it'd, it'd stay out for a second then it would lock and stay in or if you would coast it would lock but at steady throttle it would it would pulsate three or four hundred rpm just up and down up and down up and down until you either got on the gas or got off of it but Regardless, I was like, we'll get a two-for-one. Maybe I'll fix that with a controller and change all the pins out by going to a different controller, and maybe everything will work for a couple more years. But anyways, this fall it came back, and charge light was back on. So threw a controller in it. Didn't fix it. Didn't change it at all. The light was back on next day. So then I happened to be on a forum looking again because I've looked and looked and looked, and they said this is a problem area, which I've never seen that as a problem area in any other forums. So I come out here, and sure enough, it was rubbed. There wasn't any bare wire showing, but you could tell that it had wore on the insulation of the wires. So I put a piece of heater hose over it to give it some cushion, and you can see where it's shined up the housing. And the light ain't been on since. We're going on three weeks. It was coming on every day. I came out here, did that, and it hasn't been on since. So Cliff's Notes version is look there first. Make sure that's good and insulated. If I was really cared, I would probably figure out which wire in there is the alternator wire for the chart the field wire i assume runs through there and i could go in there and make sure it's not broken inside the insulation or rubbed into but i didn't see any any that were actually touching each other but i i still haven't figured out the correlation between that and this because i could literally just pick up on the connector and my my lights would stay steady then i could let off unless i was just moving the whole harness just enough but I looked at the pinout on there, and there's nothing to do with the alternator. Just the, there's a hot wire going to the computer. That's about it. So I still don't understand why that whole episode fixed it temporarily. But this seems to be the, the real deal here. So we'll see how it turns out. But we're, we're going on a month now, and it hasn't even flickered on one time. And it was on every day until I put that piece of heater hose over that to insulate it. So um, obviously I got the engine cover off. But I just wanted to pass that on because it's been a... An off and on deal for about two years the whole time i've had the car and i think this is a, i'm not the only person who's had an issue with this either so hopefully this can help somebody else out